Hello, this is Arun here. I'm I'm trying to make a video on UiPath Mastro. Basically, a UiPath Mastro is a BPMN uh, process engine from UiPath, just long due, and uh, it's it's still in preview. I mean, a, a version of it is, is still uh, it's live, but uh, but still a lot of components which are being built, uh, and it's getting um, a new facelift every day literally uh, as we speak okay um, so the process i tried to orchestrate um, is the core concept of mastro where uh, as you see if you see this diagram where we have um, a business process which is getting orchestrated by rpa bots which is in the first lane agents in the second lane and a human right even here, if you see, I've included the crew AI agent, which is an external agent, um, and also UiPath agent, which is uh, which comes with our uh, UiPath platform. And uh, the first two activities are just uh, RPA activities, and the last one is a human in the loop action center. Right? When it comes to a business process, the for this demo, it's a very simple process where uh, a RPA bot would pick up a company name from an input file, and uh, it would request crew AI agent, which is a, um, with just a persona to crawl the web and get information on the companies. So we can uh, call it a, like a data gathering agent. And um, and we also have UiPath, which is a financial reporting uh, analyst persona agent, which would uh, get the financial information from the uh, context grounding uh, we are provided. And uh, at the end, they would all uh, compile the good report and send to a human. And uh, and the human would review that output and uh, output would be fed into a RPA bot, uh, which will update the Excel file pack. So that's on a very high level what this process is. I'll give you more details as we go along. Let me run this uh, test, but even before we run, let me show you the input file. Um, so this is the input file and uh, we have a company name here. Let me close it uh, and run this uh, flow. So resources we are using is a true AI connection. We have uh, RPA bots uh, to read, update Excel, human in the loop, uh, and then UiPath agent um, as well. Okay, um, so as you see, the first um, step of the process is to pick up the input file, and it is currently being done by the RPA bot. Once that is done, we would get the output value. Good thing about this is we can track them in real time. So the company name is UiPath and the crew AI agent is currently running uh, to fetch more details uh, on UiPath as a company. Right, we got, we got the output from the crew AI uh, and the read the real time analytics are pretty cool and uh, it's very helpful as we uh, go through this new uh, experience, the developer experience. So the, even the UiPath financial report is done and, and the output is consolidated. Uh, this is output from the UiPath agent. So this is also consolidated and it's sent to the human in the loop. Let me move to the action center to see what we got uh, from these collaborative bots. Uh, Okay, so as you see, we have the information on UiPath and the financials as well, which is really cool. Oh, I could scroll it, scroll down. Uh, we even see some information, the detailed information from the UiPath bot and the general information from the crew AI uh, agent as well, right? So. So it's easy to get all this information on companies um, uh, pretty soon, right? So just for demo, I wanted to show that a human in the loop is always good to have an oversight 
or not give full autonomy to the agent. In this case, I just wanted to prove that point and I approve. Uh, it would see that the action task could be completed and it would ideally, uh, as we approved, we'd, we'd go back to the this loop where it gets approved and the Excel gets updated by the UI path. Okay, let me open the output and then ideally uh, we are just writing the output we, we just saw on the screen. Uh, and it's pretty detailed, uh, I suppose. Okay, so. Okay, so let me show you some more details, right? So. Uh, okay, let me show you what we did from an agent instance perspective. So in here, uh, so we get, so these are some of the new uh, updates to the agents. And in this case for UI path, we use financial report agent. If you get, you want to get uh, some analysis or uh, analytics, we can just go in depth and check them out. This is all good. If you see, this gives a full overview, but our focus is on what happened in the UI path agent. So as you see, uh, this agent uh, was able to provide us the output, which is this five pointer from the context uh, grounding. So, so the tool I use is, is the context grounding, which I provided uh, inside the UI path orchestrator. So I assume that, um, we know about these indexes inside orchestrator and these indexes are built based on the documents from storage bucket, right? So this is these are documents I have on used to create these financial reports um, and the automations what I use in this um, demo or in my workspace automation space, right? These are the automation we are calling in the real time. When I switch over to, okay, and before I switch over to crew AI, let me show you the UI path um, agent, simple agent that you built, which is nothing but an, um, just uses a context to answer, to get some financial report out of particular companies. And when I switch over to the crew AI, you'd see that I have deployed an um, agent which would it should fetch me information on companies. <clears throat> and um, this is pretty neat and we can, we can, uh, we have uh, access to different uh, agents, tools, we can use. Um, I, I think out of the box, we have access to S Salesforce agent and uh, crew AI agent um, as of now. And uh, Langchain is always supported as part of the UI path. The orchestration master. Okay, so I think I covered all the basic things, but I, the idea is to just to showcase what we have and how and how we can use uh, Mastro in our real life user use cases. And uh, this is pretty neat. And uh, uh, please let me know your comments, and uh, we'll be doing more videos uh, and. Um, content on, on this topic because it's very, very close to my heart because I started my uh, BPML journey into 2009 and finally came a full circle back. Uh, I could see the BPML being automated with my favorite tool, UI path. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll catch up uh, next time.